Well, the warm weather was nice, but get ready for a cool down. Bob Anthony's mm. here with a look at the weather control Senior forecast. Bob Senior Anthony. Bob Anthony on, on Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> hey, we have another special event coming up on Thursday. It's first Thursday in downtown Boise, 5 to 9 o'clock. We might actually get a little bit of rain at the start at uh, 5 o'clock, but I think those uh, showers will be done by 7 o'clock. So keep that in mind if you're heading uh, downtown Boise for first Thursday. Also, looking further ahead on Saturday, it's Race for the Cure. Park Center Boulevard in Boise, looking at the temperatures in the 40s and 50s for that, and partly cloudy skies, only a slight chance of some showers. Speaking of showers, a few hit and miss showers up there around Cascade and McCall. Here's what it looks like at Cascade, a little bit more cloud cover up there. That's Kelly's Whitewater Park in Cascade, just off the main drag in there. A little bit more cloud cover up there at uh, May Marina in McCall. Here's our weather headlines. We're looking at windy and cooler conditions for today. A chance of some rain Thursday and Friday. A seasonable weekend temperature wise. Here's a look outside. A little less cloud cover here in the Boise area, but there are some clouds out there off in the distance. It's getting pretty mild already. 62 degrees winds. Bit of a wind out there today at 13 miles per hour. They will pick up later in the day. 62 degrees for Boise, heat, 50 in McCall. And we have Mountain Home checking in at 65 degrees. Yesterday, got to remember, our high was 84 degrees. So today, quite a bit cooler, 71. So about 13 degrees cooler today. Still about 3 degrees above normal. And a cooler overnight low below normal for a change as far as our overnight low. Daytime high still a little bit above normal. Got some showers out here from a low pressure system affecting mainly western Washington. Eventually that low will track down along the coast and then move inland and then wrap some showers into our area, but that won't be until Thursday. In the meantime, same old pattern with the heating of the day. That's 5 o'clock. We might see some isolated showers, mainly eastern Idaho today. A little closer to the Boise area for Wednesday, otherwise mostly sunny skies. Now on Thursday, we'll see a bit more cloud cover and a better chance seeing some showers. Could see them as early as noontime on Thursday into the evening hours into Friday morning. But uh, the whole weekend is not going to be a washout. We could see some isolated showers develop this afternoon, mainly for our east central mountains around Stanley and Chalice. Boise will mainly dodge the showers at times, see a little bit of cloud cover. But on Thursday, that's when we have those showers real close to us. Could see some a uh, little bit of rain activity Thursday afternoon. The story today, winds cranking up a bit. Probably be the strongest right around 730 for this evening. Then with the setting sun, they die off and then they return. Not quite as strong for tomorrow and the stronger winds further to the west. Here's our forecast. Mostly sunny and breezy. Twin Falls high about 73. For Sun Valley, mostly cloudy. Scattered rain, isolated thunderstorms favoring the afternoon hours. Basically the same deal for McCall. And for the western end of the valley, you're looking at sunny and cooler conditions. And for Canyon County, ditto. High near 70. For Boise, a little bit breezy to windy. Windy and breezy, well, breezy to windy tomorrow as well, and also a bit cooler. High near 66. And then there's that 30% chance of showers Thursday afternoon into Friday. Looking uh, not too bad for the weekend. Seasonable temperatures with highs near 70. Rick?